When you create art in Illustrator, sometimes you need to make complex shapes. Take this artwork for example. You could draw this shape from scratch with the drawing tools, or even start with simpler shapes and combine them. But making a freeform shape like this can be really tedious. A better way would be to make a simpler shape. But now we have the problem of the green liquid outside of the beaker. So what do you do? What if you could just hide the stuff you don't want? Well, you can. Let's see how you'd hide the green liquid outside of the beaker shape. We want the liquid to stop around here. So we'll move our liquid shape into place. Now I'll select both shapes and choose Object, Clipping Mask, Make. Watch what happens. The green outside of the beaker is now gone, but it's not deleted, it's just hidden. So what's happening here? With the selection tool, you can double click on this artwork to enter isolation mode. If I click on the liquid, you can see the whole shape is still there. The shape on top, the beaker shape, is hiding parts of the green liquid shape. The beaker is called a mask because it masks or hides parts of what's beneath it, the liquid. Now we have our liquid in the right shape, but we need to pour it into the shape of the beaker. In other words, we need to see the beaker. We could do this by drawing another beaker or making a copy, but the great thing about masks is you can actually use them as part of your design. I can just add a stroke to the mask and voila, we saved ourselves some time. Now suppose we need the liquid to fill more of the beaker. Well, because the mask is simply hiding part of the green liquid, we can double click and drag to expose more. Now, what if you want the liquid to fill even more? You can edit the green liquid shape to make that happen. To stop editing, you can press the escape key to exit this isolation mode. We did this for a single shape, but what about a whole composition? You can even use a mask to frame a composition to a specific size, like this. If we want to create another Polaroid, we can make a shape on top of our scene, make a clipping mask, and then drag it into place. If you wanted to reframe the image in the Polaroid, you can follow the same steps as before. Just double click and edit in isolation mode. Okay, let's recap. Instead of deleting parts of artwork we don't want, we can just mask or hide those parts using a shape. Any part of the content outside the mask is hidden and you can make any changes you want to either easily. Now it's your turn. Start this tutorial with step-by-step -step instructions to practice masking artwork.